uh, all of us are chasing dreams. I remember uh, when I first started blogging years ago and I had little kids and it was basically a blog for my mom to keep up with the kids pictures. You know what I mean? And I titled my blog dreaming big dreams because I want to be a person who's dreaming big dreams. But I also know that sometimes we have these dreams and these ideas for what we want to do. And we realize, is this from God or is this for me? I've told you guys on here before that um, I worked in radio for a small bit and then I started my own podcast. But I don't know if I've told you this before is that when I was thinking of ideas for my podcast, I had what I thought to be the best idea for a new show. I was going to have myself and a girlfriend of mine, and we were going to watch this reality TV show. It will remain nameless. And then the next day we were going to recap it. And that was going to be our podcast. And I thought I was just the most brilliant new idea in the world. And so I come to my husband and I, I walk into the living room and I'm like, babe, I have the best idea for what I'm about to do with the rest of my life. And so I give him the whole spiel. My friend Amanda and I, we're going to watch this show and then we're going to recap it. And I think people are going to love it. And without even skipping a beat, you guys, he looked at me and he said, Jamie, since when do we do things that have no kingdom value? And I was like, first of all, I thought, why are you raining on my parade, uh, buddy in here? And then after I got myself together and I quit my pouting, I realized that he was right um, and that there is this theme in the Ivy household and Aaron and I live our lives this way of thinking, hey, how can we do everything that brings glory to the king? How can we have kingdom minded visions and dreams? And so I was thinking about that as we're talking today about how do we just determine is this dream for my life that I have? Is this like mine selfishly or is this from God? And it, it reminded me of a verse um, that I love so much. And it's when Jesus is teaching, he's teaching his sermon on the Mount and he just got through with the Beatitudes. And then he looks at the people and he tells them, you know, he's, you know, it, he says that you're the salt of the earth, but then he gets to the part where he says, you are the light of the world. And the very last part of that verse in verse 16, it says, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your father in heaven. And I love that verse so much because what it says to me is, okay, God is putting dreams in our hearts. He's putting visions. He's putting ideas. He is giving us good things to do with our life. And our good yeah. things should mm -hmm. always bring him glory. And so as I think back to that, you know, that really awesome podcast idea that I had that never got off the ground because my <laughs> husband was so wise in his um, encouragement to me. But I remember that. And I think, okay, when I'm thinking about these dreams that I have, these ideas, I constantly want to think, is this going to be, is this going to bring glory to God? Does this have a kingdom vision? Uh, and that has helped me so much as I try to wade through all of the crazy ideas that I might have and the dreams that I might have. And that's been such an encouragement to me as I've started things and finished things and failed at things and succeeded at things as I want to look and always go, <laughs> does this dream of mine, does this bring glory to God? talking about how he can do so much more in us than we could ever imagine. It's so encouraging. And I think it can also feel a little scary sometimes because I imagine sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I, if I'm up for what you might have for me, God, this dream feels impossible. It feels so big. Uh, and I think for me, that's a fun place to be because I'm thinking, okay, this is so crazy. It's so like out of my control. It has to be God if he shows up. And I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, Jamie, how, how do you know what's next? Like, how do you know they talk about, how do I know my calling? How do I know if this dream is from God? How do I know how to discern this? And the thing that is so amazing about God is that he gives us a way to know. Uh, he didn't just leave us here and ask us to figure things out on our own. He doesn't just say, well, just mm -hmm. kind of take a guess and see where it is. But he gave us his word and he gave us the Holy Spirit. And with those two things, guys, we can do anything because this is how God talks to us as his people. In fact, in Romans um, chapter 12, verse two, it says this, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal mm -hmm. of your mind that by testing, that by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And he's talking to us there, Paul's writing, and he's saying, hey, you want to know the will of God? You want to know how to test it? You want to know what he wants for you? You have to be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Mm -hmm. And the way that you transform your mind is through mm -hmm. his word. There's no other way. I can't transform my mind to know more about God 
by looking at a sunset or watching a rainbow or playing with my kids. Those are all wonderful <laughs> things. I love them all. Um, but that does not help me discern the will of God, but God's word does. One of my favorite verses that we all learned as a kid, in fact, I bet we could all sing a song about it, is in Psalm 119, 105. And it says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my back to my path. And we're talking mm -hmm. about, you know, God's word is how we know what to do next, where to go. That's how when you're chasing those dreams and you think God put something in me, how do I know if it's from him? Listen, sister, you need to be in the word, read his word, allow the Holy Spirit to do. And yeah. then God says here, he says, your word is a lamp into my feet. Here's what I wish it said. If I could rewrite the Bible, that's, I shouldn't even say that. That's heresy. <laughs> Don't even listen to me. But here's what I wish it said. <laughs> I wish it said, your word is like a spotlight to my whole life and I'll know everything. Right. But it doesn't say that. It says your word is a mm -hmm. lamp into my feet. And so sometimes mm -hmm. girls, we got to chase our dreams one step at a time and allow God to light up right. that step, then the next step, then the next step. And so yeah. be in his word, read his word, let the Holy Spirit show you what to do. And God is a faithful God and he's gonna light up those next steps that you have. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.